So what's up guys and welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop. Uh, today we'll be tying an all-time classic pattern by Frank Sawyer called Killer Bug. And you see it there in um, different, a little different variations. Tied those two are tied with Icelandic wool. And it gives us like a darker tones and, and stuff, but the wool is like, I will show you it later in the video, the wool itself is like, a uh, single band wool is like rather uh, weak to tie with, so you have to twist it or something to do, do it. Uh, instead of the thread, in this video I'm going to use this uh, 0.2 milk copper wire from Semperfly and I uh, put it uh, put it on a small spool to be making it easier to work with and uh, one thing yeah we're going to zoom in here for you guys to um, to see what we're doing but uh, the amount of wire I'm uh, applying to this fly that is less than the original fly was tied with I believe so uh, don't blame me for tying the fly incorrectly, but uh, this is the Icelandic wool, and I'm going to show you the strength of it, or non-strength, if you just pull it, it just, yeah, the hold isn't more than this, so I'm going to use a wool yarn, which we have here, which, in, which is in a very similar color, uh, this is like a light uh, gray brownish color and this is way easier to work with compared to the Icelandic wool and we make this uh, like this we attach this to the shank of the hook to make it secure that it's gonna stay in its place yeah remember to like share and subscribe to the channel and you can consider to uh, support the channel if you like and what we do with the yarn is that we just wrap this around and twist it so it's gonna keep its strength back and forth to make like a tapered shaped body of the fly uh, this fly I haven't used much here in Iceland but I tied it a few years back and I tried it, it didn't catch anything with it at that point, but uh, then I tried it in a different spot and it worked well, both for Arctic Char and uh, Brontrot. Uh, we'll snip this off since we made the tapered shaped body and then we have to put like a little bulk there with a the wire to finish off the fly, kind of and make the, make, make the knot and everything there at this point and we will glue this down with super glue uh, instead of using um, using a whiffiness here uh, we'll just use use my fingers for the knot it's gonna get up of knots you'll do it and it's gonna definitely gonna stay in place when the uh, uh, when we when the super glue is hard it's not gonna go anywhere I think. Uh, this is, as you see, not the thickest piece of a killer bug, but you can tie it thicker if you like. You can use the wool, the Icelandic wool I showed you, but then you have to pl place like a double, you know, like a double wool, then the band will probably hold. And you have to twist it as well. But we are tying it this way this time. Um, you could put, put like a head cement on this uh, knot or, or, or the wire. Or the bulk of the wire, but I'm gonna use a super glue. But before we do that, I'm gonna take my uh, toothbrush, my old toothbrush. Uh, you can use a dubbing brush or, or something similar like that, just to tear up a little bit, tear up the body to make the uh, nymph a little buggier, or make the bug buggier. Then we are going to finish this off with. Um, with uh, super glue just on the on the knot, and I promise you it's gonna stay in place when the super glue gets hot. But you can fish this fly bo both in uh, lakes and rivers here in Iceland. For a river, you'll need a heavier 
like a more uh, copper wire under the body. But the killer bug is ready here. Uh, I just want to say thanks for watching. Remember, remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.